Hello. This is UGC Talk 24. This is Madison Rich, and here on this channel, we're all about the UCC, public and private rights, giving people information and knowledge to invest themselves. Today, I'm here with my co-host, Shatik Ferguson, and we're going to talk about the $45 billion that they just gave to Ukraine, and uh, our take on the $1.7 uh, trillion government uh, spending bill that they just passed. I'm going to play a little clip from uh, the channel Value Payment, and then we're going to give, give our take uh, on this clip. It says 40 billion, it's 46 billion. Uh, Mostly to assist communities across the country recovering from drought, hurricane, and other natural disasters. I think we're over 120 billion right now given to Ukraine. The bill, which runs for 4,155 pages, includes $772 billion for non defense discretion program and 855, 858 for defense. The spending package includes $45 billion in emergency assistance to Ukraine. It would be the biggest American infusion of assistance yet to Ukraine, above even President Biden's $37 billion emergency request, and ensure that funds flows to the war effort for months to come. Legislation also includes historic revisions to federal uh, election law that aim any future president's candidates from trying to overturn. By the way, here's an interesting number to give to you guys. Uh, what a portion of the number went to. When I tell you this, I don't know how you're going to react to it. I thought I was a little bit surprised by this number. Here's what it was. Here's what it was. $2.6 billion went to U.S. attorneys for January 6th attack prosecution. How much? $2.6 billion. Billion. Billion dollars. Trump's net worth. Un Let me say that one more time. Do you hear what I said? Billion or million? No, no. For billion. $2.6 by the way, if you're like, let me not say this. No, I believe. So people are thinking like, so uh, 2.6 billion just went to lawyers. Okay. Let me give you this uh, CNN article. Just go to CNN article that says the 1.7 trillion. Just type in 1.7 trillion, 1.7 trillion CNN. Go to the first article that says, here's what's in the one. There you go. Okay, so keep going lower. Just so everybody knows what the story's coming from. Go lower, 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 lower. Right around there, if you can zoom in a little bit. If you can zoom in a little Funding. bit. Mm, see that? You see it or no? 2.6 billion. The bill billion. will provide $2.6 billion for U.S. attorneys, Jeez. which would include funding efforts to the further support prosecutions related to the January 6th attack on the Capitol and domestic. $2.6 billion in legal fees. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I mean, am I the only one that reads this and says, what the? Okay. So let's break this. Do you know how many how many lawyers you would have to give two point six million dollars in fees for this? Let's do the math. Hourly, okay. What's two point six billion dollars divided by say a thousand? Take say they find a thousand names that they're going to do you prosecute. Really? They're going to be giving a thousand lawyers two point six million dollars. A thousand. That's it. A thousand lawyers are going to get two point six million dollars. What are we talking about? And by the way, by the way, this is prosecution, not defense. Defense is what expenses. Prosecution, you build an indictment and put it on the table. Yeah. By the way, another eleven point three billion goes to the FBI. Okay. Another eleven point. The worst. Thirty nine billion goes to the Justice Department. So I mean, they're just and then they're doing a ban on TikTok. Couple things they had didn't make it in there, but Ukraine gets another forty some billion dollars. What are your thoughts on this, Adam? With this one point seven trillion dollar bill. Um. Well, I haven't gotten to all the details, but I think we can all realize that whatever the bill is, whatever the proposal is, is not the law. Meaning, like they're gonna gonna negotiate this. So we, you know, whether you went to civics class in eighth grade, the House proposes this, the Senate gets to vote on it, they negotiate. This thing could be less than a trillion at, at the end of the day here. So I mean, I'm glad that we're highlighting some of the nonsense. Because there's going to be arguments, there's going to be filibusters, there's going to be all sorts of uh, points and counterpoints, and, and we'll see where it ends up. I, I, I you know, it's, it, it does seem egregious. However, I remember not too long ago when one trillion dollars was a big deal. Now we're talking multi-trillion dollar spending bills, and it, it's just the norm. So but it's it, getting out of control. Here's my question to you: How much? After all that said and done, how much do you think that 2.6 billion would go down? Because mind you, that's one question. Number two, the fact that they're trying to get that much for these people is uh, it's, it's ridiculous, bro. And for another 45 billion dollars to Ukraine and then Rob. Okay, we're gonna start right there. So you already see this uh, spending bill uh, fiasco. They're throwing money all over the place. 
And this is uh, money that they're backing uh, by your labor and your energy. You understand? So you, so, so you heard the key words that he said that they're giving this proposal, which is a UCC term, an offer of a contract, right? And then they also talked about negotiability, all right? These are UCC terms that he's using. Because the United States Corporation, right, is basically a, a company, right? What you call it a country. Uh, Shatik, you want know, to give me a take on that? Yeah. <coughs> They giving the people what the people want. They running the company like they supposed to run the company. Absolutely. Right? When we looking at what they spending and what they doing, we not looking at the fact that the United States is a corporation. You right, you get what I'm saying? So what happens is we start personalizing about bills and acts and bonds that they creating, right? That's backed by the labor of the people. But the labor of the people that they referring to is the fictitious suit. You can do it. You can do it. Ukraine need help. People need help. Right? These bills are being backed by the labor of the people. That are being traumatized. And destroyed. That's right. And pilgrimage. You get what I'm saying? This bill is helping them when you're dealing inside of commerce. Remember, you know, my last, uh, my last couple of videos, uh, we talked, we always talk about bills, bills. You see the guy talk about the possibility. So these are UCC terms. You understand? So, so, so we basically come, come on these uh, contracts by a tacit agreement. You know, the people don't speak up on where they want their uh, hard-earned dollars and energy <coughs> the labor uh, uh, to go to, All right? Because uh, this is good. You know, it's, it's a little exorbitant, uh, these prices, uh, with the selling out, especially. Want to get you two, man. Yeah. Want to get you two. We pass this bill, we give you the debt forgiveness for your uh, student loan. Mmm. Want to get you too? Yeah. That's where the credit coming from. Yeah, they playing political games because you know, uh, last you know, last couple years you see it was always uh, uh, political battles uh, for that debt selling, uh for the spelling bill. But you see, this year uh, they passed it uh, uh, with flying colors. <laughs> you understand? Because they knew uh, they wanted that money to get to uh, Ukraine as quickly as possible. So. As quickly as possible, so it's basically like uh, those that bill's gonna go right through. So the people who follow our channel, remember, we always try to break little things down for you, right? So you can see how they operate in commerce, right? And the people that are seeking remedy on another level, do another level is to help you see how you're supposed to operate in commerce. Right, so it's almost like a segue to addressing one of the questions that uh, one of our followers asked us. They said, uh, "You guys know the problem, right? But what's the solution?" Right. So we kind of went to this video, right, just to teach people how bills are created, bonds are created, backed by the labor of the people, right. So when you want to ask about what the solution is, right, and you have a person that's been educated on what's happened to you, right, then you got to understand that if this is a commercial industry and you want to be able to reap the benefits of commerce, but somehow, some way, you want to pull your straw man out of the commerce because somehow your, your straw man is making you as a real life person suffer its consequences right so then we got to know where you want to operate what you what are you operating in private jurisdiction or if you want to operate in commerce if you want to continue to operate in commerce and you don't want to keep suffering the burden of your straw man then you got to operate in commerce the first thing you want to do is you want to go and open up your llc that's what i would do i would go open up i would go have my own baby I will go give birth, right? 
I would start implementing the same thing that they did to me. I would create a corporation, right? And implement the same thing that they did to them. And I would go register my birth certificate too. With a bond attached to it. Right? But these type of solutions, right? We, I want to be able to walk myself through if you catch my drift. Because I'm not an attorney, I don't practice law, and I don't give law type advice. I just tell you what I've been through, right? And what I do, right? So as you continue to follow the channel. And what we believe also. And also what we believe. So as you continue to follow the channel, I am going to specifically, myself, just so much that you will now be able to operate as a private citizen. That's what I am hoping to accomplish once I finish doing what I'm supposed to do. This is just going to be a scholastic activity for the people that wish to find their way out the rabbit hole. Back to you, Matt. Yeah, so you see how the, uh, like the, uh, last, uh, video with Robert Smith, how you say capital, capital markets, uh, equilibrium, uh, systems, you know, that's basically what, what they are, so America is basically, basically an equilibrium system, In, inputs and outputs, so this, uh, for, uh, 46 billion dollars that they gave to Ukraine is an investment, <clears throat> it's a venture, in commerce. Absolutely. These guys are embarking on, on, on a business venture. Because, you know, green is tied. The green market, the wheat, wheat market, right? <clears throat> they produce, <clears throat> they're the number one producers of wheat in the world in, in Ukraine. Or, the t or, or, or one of the top producers of wheat, right? So this war is affecting uh, the wheat price, right? So it is. In the world's interest to have this war, this uh, war stop because the uh, the price of wheat will go down, and then that will entail the food price going down. So this is definitely a, a business venture, and the people are backing it. <clears throat> we are the shareholders in the United States corporation, especially if we have a social security card. <laughs> so, so, so you are, are definitely a direct investor. On this venture into this war, Absolutely. so I, so I, so I hope the people people do uh, know that, and when people don't speak up, and speak their feelings that it's a, a tacit uh, a contract or implied contract that it's okay. And, and don't speak from a personal standpoint. Look at it as if you was a person that had to make a very very important decision on the board, and this was a major move for your corporation. Don't look at it as the fact that, oh, they're taking my money because, guess what? Money is going to always be made. When you're dealing with the United States of America. It's UCC talks, but you see, these are UCC terms that the speaker was talking about. Absolutely. Negotiability, uh, proposal, you know, bill, you know, so. So Congress... And, 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 and uh, they're dealing with the UCC. So, uh, and when you learn this, you'll learn how to uh, run your uh, company a lot better when you uh, understand the UCC and, and, and the law of merchant. Because you got to understand, when they introduce this bill, you think they're going to walk into Ukraine with $1.7 trillion in cash? No. No. No, these numbers. This is a number thing. It's a number thing. Input and outputs. That's right. So. Inputs and outputs. The country's country ran by uh, corporations. That's why, you know, you've talked to uh, a lot of seasoned businessmen. You know, they run the whole lives off their corporations. You understand? The house bill, the credit cards. All the bills are paid by the corporation. The cars in the corporation's name, the houses in the corporation's name. This is a fictitious entity. Everything Absolutely. must be in the corporation's name. That's how you separate. That's how you find remedy. 
That's how you find remedy. You got to find something to operate in commerce. Regardless to what I know that we find ourselves sometimes stuck on what we learn about our straw man. True. That, that story I am not negating. What I am trying to implement to you is that you still have to find a way to operate in commerce. Right. So although some a lot of us tend to try to incorporate the straw man, it is already an unincorporated rated corporation whether you incorporate it or not right sometimes when we want to get that separation it's not about whether or not you're operating in commerce sometimes it's about what jurisdiction you're operating in we get confused it's a business venture on the inter in uh, international jurisdiction so it's basically what it is But well, this is UCC uh, Talk 24. We're going to be back uh, with more videos uh, on, on the UCC and uh, giving you information and knowledge to enrich yourself. Stay tuned.